Here we are back looking at the tower in front of the purple section. Uh, this is the second video for the purple section. This uh, tower is fairly small, three by four, or two by four rather. Uh, but around the other side, there's a couple other shelves we're gonna use for some of the miscellaneous uh, cartoon stuff. Uh, but this is mostly Muppets. So if you're a Muppets fan, this is the section you're interested in. Uh, I have a complete Palisades collection, both carded and loose. So it's one of only two that I display the whole carded set. There's the box place sets and figures along the top. You'll see more of that as we move around. Uh, this wall here, or this shelf here, you're going to see a lot of the sideshow May busts, as well as the five tins, uh, lithograph tins, that were produced uh, in con concert with Toy Fair. However, uh, Palisades wasn't involved in the production of all five of those. They did a couple of them with them, and then uh, a couple more of them uh, Toy Fair did on their own because Wizard had exclusives left over that they wanted to uh, sell. So they packed them up and did it on their own. On this shelf here at eye level, we're going to get into some more of the loose figures, as well as some pre-production stuff. Uh, so you'll see some stuff that's never produced, like stuff from Sesame Street, uh, some hard copy, some stuff where the colors changed a bit, like on the Santa Chef, um, or the materials here have changed on the Dr. Teeth sign. This is a more translucent plastic. Or there was a major change like the uh, toilet head animal. So the one on the left is toilet head animal. His hair is all matted down flat. While the one on the right is what they went with in terms of the sculpt, a little more wild. But the highlight here is, of course, the Series 2 Sesame Street clay sculpture. Uh, this uh, never made it past, I don't think it ever made it past clay sculpture. I don't think I've ever seen a painted version. Uh, but that is the one-of-a-kind clay sculpture that was produced. More of the loose puppets. Fantastic line. And then down below, we have some of the carded stuff. Uh, and in front, we have the Diamond Select smaller scale series that we're getting right now. Super Grover is around the corner here. And the boxed version I kept uh, because I wanted to be able to uh, show off the Alex Ross art. And that's another uh, pair of uh, pre-production uh, heads. Those two sculpted ones, the one without the glasses and the darker colored hair, as well as the one without the hat that they didn't go with that look. On the bottom shelf is uh, some, I kind of moved into some claymation or some stop motion uh, type uh, movies and TV shows. So as we move around, you're going to see Corpse Bride stuff, uh, including the Gentle Giant busts and the McFarlane line. You'll see some uh, Coraline um, stuff and Frankenweenie. There is some, uh, we, I don't do a lot of, with the floor in this section, it's mostly storage, but there are some uh, plush hanging down, of course, right? Then we get back, let's move back up and we're moving into the Muppets. Those are the minifigures Palisades did. Uh, the figure there in the middle, the carded Ber Bernice and Gonzo, that's kind of unique. Uh, Palisades produced uh, 10 cases of these, 12 in a case, so 120 of them. Uh, it was uh, to show to Target, it was a planned Target exclusive. They made it this far and then Target backed out. So uh, only 120 of them were ever produced. We ended up getting this Bernie, Bernice and Gonzo uh, as a Wizard World uh, exclusive. I think it was Wizard World East uh, eventually. Uh, but uh, this version was never, never released. Uh, more of the loose on this end. More carded and boxed. And as you can see, more carded and boxed up on the top. So let's move around. Let's grab our handy dandy step stool. So that we can move around and we'll see those sections someday all those sections someday oh look photography area and let's move up to the top here again carded and box stuff but also the mega figures the big mega figures i showed you that simpson shelf before with the games there's the wedding set along with more carded and box stuff Now, when we get down to eye level, we get back to the loose stuff. Sweetums, one of my favorite figures. And the play sets, which I love to see how different people have their setup, who they put in the play sets, what accessories they add. Uh, these are some of the best play sets ever produced for any line, especially the kitchen set there. More loose. Lots of carded. All of these were uh, produced for various um, shows, giveaways, parties. And 
and then we get back some stop motion as well as a whole shelf of Scooby-Doo and a few more odds and ends on this side you'll see the Five Points Adams Family Animated some Beavis and Butthead and more and a couple of things on the floor that actually go really to the next section so there you have it lots of Muppets one of my favorite collections, one of my favorite lines of all time. Thanks a lot.